Hello, this is a basic tutorial on using Blender to composite layers together. We're using cycles in this tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to separate an image like this one into the background and foreground elements. In this case, the, the ground plane and the car will be two separate layers. So let's take a look at the scene. What I've done here, uh, I've, I've split the scene out into a couple different layers, and uh, what that is, is there's a ground plane and the car. And down here, you see the layers, and there are 20 boxes, if you're not familiar with how this works. And you can simply, if you have an object uh, created, uh, I'll just create a cube here that uh, isn't showing up for some reason. There it is. Uh, if you have an object, you can move it to any other layer. You can just hit the M key and click that layer, and it will show you if something is in a layer by having a dot on it. So I just moved the cube here. Uh, I'm going to just delete that now. <clears throat> so in layer two, I have the car. In layer one, I have the ground plane and the lights and the camera and, and whatnot. So let's go back to our camera. And I'm going to shift click to turn on both layers here. And that is our layer setup. If we go over here to the render uh, dialog, we want to go down to where it says layers. And when we look at the layers, I'm going to close these others just to not confuse things. Uh, again, over here on layers, there's always going to be one render layer. Uh, and what we want to do is we're going to add an additional render layer so we have a foreground and a background. Uh, the uh, layers are shown here, and this, these block of 20 will match exactly this block of 20 down here. So if I make a selection here, it's going to also change here and, and vice versa, it's, it's going to do that. This block of layers is going to affect what's actually visible on the current layer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second layer. And on the second layer, I'm going to use just this one, which if you remember is the car. And on the first layer, I'm going to do just this first one. So what we have now for each pass, uh, we're going to call this floor, and we're going to call this one car. <clears throat> and that will render each respective one. Now there's one other thing we need to do. Because the car is going to be put over top of it, we need to have transparency in all the areas around it. And by default, cycles will not do this. So what you need to do is under film, uh, you need to check transparent. And you only need to do that on the car layer because the floor layer doesn't have any transparent pixels visible. So uh, those are my two layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit render and I'm going to pause this because even with just a few steps, this is going to take a while. So uh, I will be back in just a moment. I'm going to hit render here. Okay, now the rendering has finished and I have a couple layers and after it's done rendering, you're able to look here, and in the menu here, you can look, and my two layers that I've rendered are here. I've got the car layer, and I've got the floor layer. <clears throat> so you can save those out as separate images if you wanted, and you can also see that the car image, uh, it does have an alpha here. And um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the compositor. So let's open up the node editor. And the node editor, if you have not used it yet, has a couple components. There's a materials, there's a textures, and then there's a, a compositor, which is the third one here. And we're going to select that. We're going to say use nodes. And I'm also going to use the backdrop, which makes it very handy because you get to see your image in the background. In order to use this, you need to add a viewer. And I'm going to <clears throat> just add that. By the way, this menu is Shift A to bring this up. And I knew I was going to get interrupted. Okay, I'm back. With the viewer, what you're able to do <coughs> is uh, connect something to it, and that's what will show up in the background here. And the shortcut for that is you can simply, if you have a viewer in your scene, you can simply control shift and then click on a node, and it will connect a, a viewer to it. So I'm going to duplicate this <coughs> because what we have is we have the floor and we have the car, and we can choose those two layers here. And so I'm going to select the one to car, one to uh, the background. 
Now, to mix these, all we need to do is we need to go to color, mix, and we need to take the first image, the background, draw it to the first one, take the second, and draw it there. And now nothing's happening because we, the viewer is still drawing up to this image. So we're going to connect that with control shift. And <clears throat> you can see now the car is drawn over the background, but it's not using the alpha until we click this box right here, which says include the alpha of your input. And there it's now put together. And if this image were to be saved in the render all done in one go, we would have to connect this also up to the comp. Uh, this is basically used for your final uh, output, which you would go out to a file uh, that you would save. <clears throat> or you could just do it from the comp and, and select save down here. Um, but now that they're together, <clears throat> we can take advantage of that and we can do a few other things. Let's say we want to darken just the background. <clears throat> I'm going to add and I'm going to just add a color curves. We can drag it up there and we can see it'll turn orange that it's on there. You could also drag the lines manually, but that's a, a neat little shortcut. And now we're taking the background, we're going through the curves and out. So all I need to do, I can adjust the background uh, very easily uh, without affecting the car. I can say I want to I want to give that a little uh, a little extra tint of some kind, and uh, you can really just have some fun with it here. <clears throat> In addition, you can you can take after your mix. I can. I could add another uh, color balance, say, and uh, we'll just run it out the image, and then I'm going to connect my viewer here, and then ultimately we would connect the compositor also. And on this one, you really you really want to be subtle about it, but uh, you know we can take the the darks and we'll move them a little bit towards 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 the blue. Uh, like I said, subtle here. <coughs> move them a little bit towards blue. Uh, let's move our, our highlights a little, a little warmer, and you can start to see uh, a little bit more developing in the color. Uh, we can punch up the highlights a little bit more by bringing this value up. It will brighten up the scene uh, just in the highlights area, and let's change our, our mid-tones just a little bit also. And <clears throat> there you get a very different image than um, if I remove this. I can just hit M to mute it. You can see what that node is doing, and uh, that's basically it. I this has been very quick. I was trying to uh, not skip anything, but I also wanted to uh, just make it short and sweet. So hopefully that helps, and I'll try to do a follow up if you have problems with this. Thank you.